Let's go! Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh. Look at the size of that bird. Tank of a bird. Alright, so we uh, got back to the car. Got everything loaded up. <clears throat> got Brad's bird taken care of. And uh, got a bite to eat. We came on back down the road to this first um, private land that we hunted several days ago. And went in and talked to the property owner. And uh, they told us that they heard them back here like three hours ago. We walked back out to the car and we see a hen uh, coming up through this pasture. And we hear a hen back that way. So I think one way or another, we're gonna get back here, whether we go up, whether we go around, we're gonna get back here and uh, see if we can't locate one. I got it. Yeah. You got the one on the left. Yeah. The strutter was to the right, but they're all gonna work up to, towards that hill, I think. Once they go over it, we can get up there. Ready? Yeah. Got up to the field, I crawled up, crested a little rise, 
and saw three toms and two hens out in the field. Um, all three were strutting at one time. They all three had good beards. Um, they didn't gobble at us anymore, and they they worked up a draw. And when they worked over that draw, we cut across this field, which was 300 yards or so, and came up over the rise and only saw one. When I saw that one, it was going over another hill. So I let it work over that hill. We went down and then up that hill and got up here and didn't see anything. Called and he gobbled several hundred yards down in the bottom and we saw him working left to right and now we don't know what to do the amount of ground that they cover is unreal like up down up down I mean and just gone and they're, they're not like they're we're not they didn't see us they didn't spook they're just feeding and moving but they're just they're moving faster than we can go so unless they hold up or we can work around them to get in front of them it's kind of hard just staying behind them like staying behind them just trying to keep up is just brutal and we don't know where and we don't know where they're at right now I'm sorry, I didn't video none of them. <laughs> I seen you up there and I was like, all right, he's gonna go over that ridge and then next thing I know, their gun comes up. I'm like, <laughs> kind of a, kind of a rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had video. <laughs> kind of a rodeo. Mule deer running. Like it was a whole herd of mule deer right here that ran out freaking nuts man and that's how you do it kids that's pretty decent spurgers on Hanged out, Montana. All right, it's uh, Monday morning, May 15th. And uh, we both, Brad and I both killed birds yesterday. Um, Brad killed his mid morning and then I killed one uh, late yesterday evening. So we're, ta we're tagged out in Montana. Um, I got to sleep in this morning, got a little, uh, bacon and eggs going, <clears throat> but I thought I'd just kind of show you around camp, um, and how we kind of did everything. We flew into Rapid City and went to Walmart there and, uh, 
Pick this up a little grill, pan, the 50 cent plates, and uh, <clears throat> we've been eating, cooking and eating there, you know, here every, every day. Um, stocked up on some food. We got a little cooler and uh, brought the tent brought the tent with us it was in my checked luggage um, had to pick up some like pillows but the rest of it we brought with us and then basically <laughs> we've laid the seats down in this in this Acadia and uh, have just been piling everything else back there our luggage clothes uh, vests bags guns elk sheds turkeys um, just kind of throwing everything in there <laughs> a little bit of a mess but uh, it's been fun and it's worked out really well so Last year we drove out here and it was three of us, me, Austin, and Brad, but we drove and it was like 36 hours driving. And so this year was like, let's, you know, let's fly, let's try flying. And we didn't really know logistically how we would get all of our gear, guns, tent like you know all these all these different things didn't really know how it was going to work out uh and i can honestly say it's been great it's probably been better easier than it was last year um we were able to get out here you know it took us six hours to get you know with the flights and everything to get to rapid city and then a two-hour drive here and then you know, a little small tent in the checked luggage. Um, trip by Walmart to pick up, you know, some supplies and sleeping bags were in luggage and everything. And um, our, the whole process of like checking the guns and, and all that, no problem. All the all of our stuff made it, you know, here. So really, really seamless and, and really easy. So I, uh, would definitely recommend and we'll you know we'll do this again so yeah just wanted to show you around camp a little bit the plan now is to eat some breakfast pack all this up we're gonna get some pictures with both of our birds together and then we're gonna head south west uh to wyoming <clears throat> it's uh 6 15 and we just got um where we're gonna well we're gonna walk this trail out um a little ways at least um see if we can't strike a turkey we're in the black hills now in wyoming um <clears throat> we got here set up camp and uh then then drove back in here um seeing a lot of other hunter, hunter hunting pressure. Uh, looks like there's a lot of other people out here. We, where we were in Montana, we didn't run into anybody. And then we were at a gas station right down the road and talked to some guys and they're like, it's competitive here, people are everywhere. And so far that seems to be true. <clears throat> Tried to get way back in here by vehicle. We may have to get way back in here by foot. That's my plan, or our plan, is to get back in here deep where maybe nobody else has been, or at least fewer people have been. Um, but, you know, right place, right time. The Lord blessed us yesterday with that in the right place, the right time. And we'll just 
pray that we have the same blessing today. Closer. Let's get up on this rock quick. Cal? You think we can move that rock? That was, that was that was farther. Huh? There was one closer, one farther. But that one's closer. Scared of it. Take a little way. That's a good way. Huh? That was a good ways. I mean, he, he flew up like scared and then he, I think he just walked off to the right. 
had another one. Yeah, well, as soon as you shot another one, gobble. Sorry, man. <laughs> Sorry for what? Getting on him? Hey. Yeah. You hear all them dudes down there at the store? Oh, it's tough up here. We rode around all day. Ain't even seen nothing. Can't hear nothing. We've been here a couple hours. You didn't pull the trigger. I had it right on him. It, 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 I don't think it was a thing of. I think it was distance. I was going to say, it probably had a lot of drop to it. I held on top of his head. I come back in here in the morning. That's why I said pin it. Huh? Pin it. Yeah. It's a long ways. I probably shouldn't have took the shot and just come back in here in the morning. But he's picking his head up and I was just... I was. Let's talk about it while we walk. So we got a long ways to go. come up. They can't go that way, I don't think. I'll keep going. I'm gonna try to get in front of them. Unless we come up unless we come up the spine of this ridge.
here if I can get him a gobble again. Yeah. You hear him? That way. That's different. He was here. I, I think we need to get back over there to where we wanted to go. You heard it that way, right? Yeah. That way. Hey, that's two of them. Yeah. They're both this way. There's two of them. Yeah.
Oh. Woo! Yeah! Thanks, buddy. Hey, man. Thanks, buddy. He worked right in like an Easter. He did. He worked in like an Easter. He did. Dude, I just killed one in Wyoming. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glad you're here with us. Yeah, dude. I'm happy to do this. Ooh. I'm going to have to get a picture with you guys yeah, with the bird. Right. <laughs> I know. I'm going to try yeah, to Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how many? Dang. Like, how many? How much? How much time do we have left? Is it doing so on too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come with the tow feathers, man. Hey man, thanks a bunch. Yeah, thanks a bunch. Cause look, I know you had a shot. I know the you. The first time yeah, you came around, you did. It was a clear. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I saw it. All right, so we're just waiting on the gun to get here uh, for them to open the oversized baggage uh, so we can get the gun out. But we can confirm you can uh, you can put turkeys on ice. Don't have to skin them or anything. Just bag them like two or three trash bags and uh we put them on ice have them good and cold before we put them in put them in there sealed it all up and it made it through tsa made it from rapid city all the way to raleigh so good deal they just opened the oversized baggage here so if we can get our gun and get out we're good to go all right gun made it so we have two shot, two shotguns, three turkeys, and a really good time. Really fun trip. I don't think it could have gotten any better. Uh, we're gonna go out here find Austin, get a catch a ride home, see the family, take a shower, get some sleep, get some food. Just an awesome trip. Couldn't get any better. Mm -hmm.